So chat GPT just rolled out code interpreter to all the users. Basically what this allows you to do is three primary things. It allows you to visualize data, file, convert file formats and run clean Python code. Over the video we'll kind of try all three of these, but this can basically mean that now you have your own personal data scientist that can literally without, you know, spending a lot of time on Excel, you, you can run this in your own, you can just upload your files here and it kind of runs it for you. Now be a bit careful because these files may have your personal data. So you need to be very careful with respect to what data you upload right now in order to enable this you need to go to your settings and you need to go to beta features and you need to select code interpreter if you already haven't enabled it so once you enable that you should be able to see your code interpreter let's select that and you can see now you have an option to either send a message upload a file yeah so i'm gonna quickly go ahead and upload one file just so basically this file is a csv file that is about that has the data for the population of india so click on this and let's see if i'm able to upload csv files okay looks like i can select the file so i added it here can you create so i'm telling it to create visualization based on these files i haven't used this before but let's see what it kind of goes ahead and does so you can see it's kind of loading the file it's running python in the background pandas is a library that is used to do some analysis okay so it was able to extract some data you can see there was some error that it encountered but it looks like it went ahead and tried skipping the first few lines okay before proceeding it would be helpful to understand for your specific need okay plot out all the so the file is now feed it to the model and it's ready to create data sets okay i'm telling it to just plot out the important trends multiple countries it is not practical okay we can focus on subset of countries for instance we can select a few countries china let's focus on india usa and china okay it's now i think using matplotlib correct this is the python library that's used to visualize the data it's using in order to create graphs you can see these saying that x what should be the x label y label and the legend itself and this is the population graph for all these countries right so at the bottom you'd see this is united states this is india which kind of caught up with china in 2023 and this is china that's always kind of been on the top and this is from 1960 to 2022 let's see what other important trends do let's ask it to figure out what other important trends does it see in here okay we could aggregate the data by continent let's do this let's do number three most populous african country asia china most populous europe germany is the most popular any us brazil yes this is fine so it's asking if you would want to go deeper in the values that it was able to discover there were certain values it wasn't able to so it's fine we will tell it to move forward with those values okay so it's kind of taken the data of the most populous country in each of the continents you can see the first one is china and there are these different countries it's very hard to distinguish let's tell it to make the graph colors more distinguishable either way it's like if you're interested in running it yourself you can actually look at there should be some coloring options here okay looks like by default it's used the colors but now it should yeah you can see it should, there should be somewhere it's kind of using colors yeah there you go so it's kind of now defined color for these while in the initial one it did not right so when you define colors it will be able to show you colors let's go ahead and see what else we can plot here let's look at the fastest growing countries all right so let's say look at the fastest growing countries in the last 10 years what i'm going to be also doing is feeding the data for upyogai which is our website so okay i'm also going to be feeding the data for upyogai which is like my own website where i kind of constantly post updates about generative AI. You can see this is one of my pages. Anyway, so first let's look at this data. Jordan has the highest growth in the last 10 years, followed by this and these few countries so very interesting now let's also utilize for some real product level visualization and let's say queries is what we'll upload can you create top 10 so i'm telling it to create like top 10 queries in the sheet let's see what it throws out Again, it was able to understand the images, the impressions, the CTR value and the position for each of them. Okay, it's now, you know, able to extract data is going ahead and creating visualization for that data. Okay, it's very interesting that Upyoga is one of the top inquiries. And so look, this is like the visualization for the top 10 queries at Upyogai. Like obviously Upyogai is the main keyword that people are looking for. Then there's AI automation agency, Frugal GPT, Airboros, etc, etc. 
and by impressions mojo lang apparently is one of the highest seen keyword followed by dragyogan falcon 40b etc obviously ai automation agency is like the great keyword for the website okay now let's say based on this which keywords should we target over the next few weeks okay high clicks and high impressions which is again the ai automation agency like i said right so high impressions but low clicks so maybe these are second priority and there are keywords that have high clicks but low position can you list those keywords okay personally i'm really impressed by the code interpreter because in general you take like a real data analyst to do all of this but it's able to do all of that for you without really putting in a lot of effort now unfortunately this may take up a lot of data intelligence or data analytics jobs so that's like the at least the analytics jobs but if obviously there are newer things they can learn but ideally like from the standpoint if gpt is able to do it it's great but also note that you're feeding your data to gpt when they are doing this so be careful with what data you can and cannot feed all right so post this let's try converting file format so let's say can you convert this into an xlsx file okay so i'm telling it to convert the csv file into the xlsx file right so okay so i fed the csv file it's basically using data to excel which will now convert in so it's very straightforward this way right let's say we also want to start writing some code so i'm thinking what could be the great use case let's say can you extract text from the image so i am going to search for an image that has say some text in it and let's see if he's able to extract it for me okay so this does not have the text in the image but let's see what it okay it's not able to do ocr hmm should be able to use open cv in order to do the ocr but i apparently it can't do that what else can we do let's say convert a video into a gif can you convert this into a gif file so let's see it's able to if it's able to do that basically this is a very very basic video on introduction on one of the models let's see if it's able to convert that into a gif file let's just wait for it to upload take some time for sure it's kind of redirecting me somewhere else all right so can you create a gif session of i know it's i messed up the spelling but it's fine for most populated regions in the world keep the map dark so i'm feeding the same csv again and i'm telling it to create a visualization based on the most populated regions in the world oh, okay so it looks like it can't really do gifs and video conversions yet but it does a really good job when it comes to data analysis and i'd encourage you to kind of try it out for your own sake this will definitely kind of benefit you when you're talking about analyzing some internal data so if you're spending too much time looking at data understanding what certain metrics mean you can directly feed all those metrics in here to get some very very high level visualization of that so yeah i think pretty much that is going to be it for the video guys thank you so much let's see you in the next one